Amnesty International now calls for immediate commuting of Kamande's death sentence to life imprisonment so that she could be rehabilitated. While sentencing Kamande, a former Langata women's prison beauty queen, Lady Justice Lesid said her court had exercised judicial discretion, saying that despite death penalty having been declared unconstitutional by the Supreme Court in December last year, it remains enshrined in statutes. A young person with 21 years at the time of this offense, the disease was equally young, aged only 24 years of age, at the time that the accused cut short his life. Now, after considering all these factors, I found that the only sentence to pass in this case is death, and therefore sentence the accused person to death as prescribed by the law. The judge concluded that Ruth Commander stabbed her boyfriend deliberately using a kitchen knife 25 times, and she showed no remorse for stabbing her boyfriend, Farid Mohammed, hence the harsh penalty. And as much as uh, she pleaded that uh, she did the, the crime or committed the offense, it calls for, therefore, uh, for the, the judgment and you know, the ruling fraternity to understand that, one, was this lady sane uh, mentally as she was doing the act? Mm. Because by and large, stabbing somebody more than 20 times is quite quite unusual and quite uncalled for. Mm. And so what I expected maybe is for this lady to be done for uh, a mental status examination, which I want to believe was done. Mm. And if it was done, then why pass on this sort of ruling, which is quite heavy on her side, despite the fact that she admitted to, to doing the offense? Mm. Justice Lesit denied a request by Commander's lawyers for leniency on the basis that the accused person had successfully applied to join Jomo Kenyatta University of Agriculture and Technology for further studies, saying the ex-beauty queen was free to enlist for courses within the prison's system. And, uh, the only option for the lady right now is to take some time because she has a, a period of 14 days mm. or two weeks to launch an appeal. And through the appeal then, if the judges find that the trial judge add in that va in verdict, mm. then they'll, of course, pardon her or give a lighter verdict. In other jurisdictions, mm. it, is a, it is an execution, just as it is from the plain aspect of it. But in Kenya, so many people have been sentenced to death, mm. but the true position is that they are never actually executed. Because in, 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 our, in our country, we don't have the machinery. But I think to, the, to an extent, we don't have the personnel to do mm. this. So it is also to my understanding a big torture to the people who are sentenced to death because you can imagine you have been sentenced to death and you're staying from 1990 up to now you're not aware when you're going to be executed mm -hmm. you're not aware when this is going to happen you don't know if to proceed with your social life within the, the confines of the prison mm -hmm. you are not uh, sure if to go on with your religious life i mean it's too much torture mm -hmm. so the government uh, should define properly what they mean by that sentence the famous Miss Langata Prison's beauty pageant winner, who has been in custody since 2015, was however given rights to appeal the final ruling. Purity Museo, Ebru TV.